A couple of weeks ago, we did a thing on gym rules and we talked about how this guy yelled at me in the mirror, get out of my effing mirror. I was mainly mocking the point that in gyms across America, there are these rules that I full-heartedly reject. I think they're all stupid, but that got some of you asking, what are the gym rules that are unwritten that I should know about? And I thought for a second, I'm never gonna tell these rules, but I thought, eh, you know what, here's the deal. Even though I reject them, there is some stuff to know, but we're not gonna call them gym rules. What we're gonna do is we're gonna call them rules for being alpha. So here are the rules for being alpha in the gym, if that means anything to you. First rule, straight rule, you're bench pressing along, you look down, you see somebody's weights and they're facing out. You have just broken rule number one because apparently you are showing off your weights, which means you want a lot of attention, which means you have no soul and you're an attention seeking whore. The best way to do it, turn that weight inside. Nobody can see your weights and now you're alpha. I think that's when you do it. I'm not exactly sure. You ever see a hub fight? In order to be alpha in the gym, you have to win the hup fight. Apparently, you're only allowed to say hup or hip or hope. I don't know what, how to spell it, but it sounds like this. Hup! You're only allowed to say the hup if you're the biggest guy in the gym. Now, the problem is, who's the biggest guy in the gym? That's when you get to see the hup fights. It works like this. Hup! I'm not big on spotting in the gym, but one of the unwritten rules in the gym is you're really not allowed to help somebody who's struggling. They shouldn't have been there anyway, unless they're just about to die. Looks something like this. Oh, 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 God. Spot! Spot! Another one of the rules not based in science is you gotta make funny noises with your mouth. You must breathe out upon exertion. For example, the accompanying spit must follow. And this has all kinds of different versions, right? You'll see it in the, that annoying hiss. Sounds like somebody just poked a hole in your tire. Why did that become the universal thing? Or sometimes it's like this, it's that annoying little grunt. Careful not to start a hup war. You got the ta. That has two parts. That's got the top. I might start calling that one the grouse. I've heard a few sage grouse sound just like that. Of course, you got the blow. The best version of that one is that hollow one they do that's almost got a whistle in it. The ghetto one, you've heard this. Aye! Aye! The point there is, you gotta make noises with your mouth on every single lift or you're not alpha. Ladies aren't exempt from this either. She with the greatest form wins the gym. For example. And moving with the greatest form means moving in perfect right angles because we all know when you go lift your kids, we always walk over to them, form up, 
I don't know what's with that annoying, we have to be perfect with our form thing. It always seemed to me that we should move our bodies in here in the gym like we move them out there. But you're not alpha unless you are doing perfect biceps curls. Perfect biceps curls. Oh my God, perfect biceps curls. And the only reason, because that makes me better than you. We don't just wipe our sweat in the gym and it isn't enough to have a towel or go get a tissue. If you're truly alpha and you're following the gym rules, we have to wipe it with our shirt. Oh, how'd that get up there? You get down, you bad shirt. How you walk in the gym is also a part of the unwritten rules. It helps to have a raging case of ILS just so everybody knows you're alpha. Last rule, we don't just finish sets when we're alpha. We finish with authority. Watch out, lady. Everybody was kung fu.